In Pine Grow 7.3, we introduced a new class tree inspector for Tailwind. This makes working with complex Tailwind classes much easier. To open it, go to the Properties panel. There, you'll find the option to enable the class tree instead of visual controls. If you want to display both at the same time, simply open the class tree in a pop-up window. I won't cover all the features since we've discussed them before, but let's highlight a few improvements. When you uncheck a class, it gets removed from the element, but stays visible in the class tree. This makes it simple to reapply the class by checking it again. Unchecked classes are marked with an unchecked checkbox and appear slightly grayed out. To completely remove an unchecked class, just reselect the element. When the tree gets repainted, any unchecked classes won't be displayed. If you haven't tried the class tree inspector yet, I highly recommend giving it a try. It makes working with Tailwind classes easier by providing a comprehensive overview of all classes for the selected element and its parent elements. This includes pseudo states, media sizes, and more. Adding a new class is very easy, either by finding it in the menu or typing it directly. For example, typing MB20 will add a margin bottom 20. This makes working with Tailwind classes incredibly simple. To change a value, just click on any class and adjust its value. You can preview the effects directly on the page. If you need to switch back to visual controls, go to the tools menu and select visual controls. As I mentioned earlier, you can also open the class tree inspector as a pop-up. This way you can have both visual controls and the new class tree inspector side by side.